In the last video, we looked at some examples of unit step functions. We had a function that allowed us to easily generate a unit step that turned on and off at the right time. We plotted a few different versions of that function. In this video, we're going to do something similar, but we're going to do it with the ramp function. So the ramp function is a function that's off for all time, but then at some point in time it turns on, and the function then increases linearly from that point in time. So a unit ramp function would be a function that was off for all time, then at time zero turned on and started increasing with a slope of one. But then obviously you can change where that ramp function turns on, what its slope is, etc. So here's the script. We're going to plot a couple different ramp functions. Let's go ahead and open up the function itself and take a look. It looks very similar to the unit step function that we just had. The only difference is this one is parameterized just a little bit differently. You can actually pass in the slope of the signal. But just like before, you pass in a time vector, you give the slope that you desire, and then also what I call the start time. This is where the ramp turns on or off. Again, there's a piece of code here in the middle that can handle whether the ramp is turning on and going to the right, or whether it's been on and turns off at a given time. Uh, this is just initializing the ramp function, and this is doing a simple calculation to populate indices of the ramp function to give it the proper value. So I'm basically just doing some equations of align computations here and evaluating the slope and start time and plugging into the function at the right points in time to get the desired slope of the function. So that's what the ramp function looks like. Let's go ahead and look at some examples of how you actually call this and use it. So here I have uh, created a time vector just like I did before. I'm doing it from time minus 10 to 10 and I'm creating two to the 12 points. So I'm just creating enough points to have enough samples in time so my functions look nice and smooth. On this first example here on line 12, we're creating a ramp function, calling with the time vector, and then it's going to have a slope of three and it's going to turn on at time two. So if we look at this function, here's what it looks like. So you see it's zero for all time, and then at time two it turns on and it has a slope that's increasing, which should be with a rate of three. So let's zoom in here. So between time two and three, it actually went up three. So yes, that does indeed have a slope of three. Here's a ramp function that has a slope of minus one and it turns on at time minus one. So let's plot that function in red. So indeed it turned on at time minus one and then it is going down, it has a negative slope. And again, we can just zoom in and check. It turned on at time minus one, so at time zero, it should be down by one. And indeed, that is the case. Here is a ramp that has a slope of 7 and a start time of minus 8. Let's go ahead and plot that in black. It turned on at minus 8 and it has a slope of 7. And then finally, an example of a time-reversed ramp. So this is going to be a ramp that will have been on but then turns off at time minus 4. And its slope is negative 20. So I'm going to plot that in sign. So this is going to look a little bit different. It's been on and then it actually turns off at time minus four. So just like with the unit step function, if you want to create a ramp function that is kind of a left-sided signal, it's been on then turns off, and just call it with a negative t argument, similar to how you call all these with t's, just call it with a negative t, and then the function is written in a way to interpret how to make and construct that signal. So I'll just let the final figure pop up one more time. Here are the four different ramp signals that we created. The ramp function itself is pretty straightforward. And uh, if you find this function useful, you can download both the ramp function and this script